Hi guys and welcome to the beginner's guide for Moonlight Blade. Now there will be a lot of things I will discuss in this video so I will advise that if you are looking for something specific check out the timestamps in the description and probably the comment section of this video. Now without wasting too much time let's jump right into the guide. First thing you should know in Moonlight Blade is there are currently 6 classes at the making of this video and what you'll be wondering is um, what is the best class. So for now there is no exact best class as each of these classes are kind of good in their own various events. For example, I am using the Guardian, it isn't really great in 1v1 PvP but it is very awesome in group PvP. Now if you're actually concerned about what class you should pick, then I think you should base it on what you think you will be doing more or enjoying more in this game. Are you going to be focusing more on PvP? and is it going to be 1v1 pvp then of course you will want to use certain classes i will tell you the ones that i currently think are kind of better than the others in 1v1 pvp the first is the swordsman it is very very good for 1v1 pvp it's kind of better than most of the other ones because of the combo and stuff and the second one is actually the beggar the beggar excels at controlling opponents and dealing lots of damage while also being immune to stun there is also the enchantress that is a long range attacker so you could pick from any one of these three to figure out um, which one you think is best for you or suits your playstyle. Those are the three classes in 1v1 PvP that currently I think excels the most. That being said, we gotta wonder um, is PvP balanced or not? We'll get to that later in the video but also just so you know and don't stress too much about this, yes you can change classes in this game. If you're worried about that, I'll show it to you right now. You can just go to store after you've unlocked it and after store you go straight to function and yeah you can purchase this cool transfer gift box and it does seem like a lot it is a lot but i think i was able to save all this within a week so it is doable for you to switch classes i just hope that maybe next time they can or in the future they can make it um, a little cheaper and stuff so that's the intro into this game i hope that has covered basic things for you now we're going to go into the game proper that is the beginning of the game things you should know First thing you should know is that this game can be quite um, a chore in the beginning because um, you haven't unlocked a lot of things. So it's going to be quite boring. You're just going to be going auto for the first 15 levels but the truth is you will breeze through those levels. But before you breeze through all those levels, I think I should let you know that the first thing you should do when you do have a lot of gold at that early stage is go to your bag right here and unlock as many slots as you can unlock as many of them you see i unlocked quite a lot of them i just had a feeling that mmos do something crazy later in the future and they did it after the maintenance it started requiring um, the bound voucher to unlock slots uh, this was actually gold before but now it's bound vouchers so <laughs> i don't know if it will be like that for you as you're starting but this is just a quick tip for you if you're starting the game and you have a lot of gold and just unlock as many of those things as you can save you the problem of wasting your bound voucher that is going to be useful for other things in the game now another thing i want to talk about will be the story of the game if you come right here you see there's main quest and there's a lot to do but aside from the main story we do have some hidden quests and we have some lovely adventures that gives nice rewards uh, we'll talk about the adventures but let's complete the story first the story is kind of interesting if you are interested in it you can actually watch it or you can skip it like I do. Now that being said, you can always go back to your stories to rewatch your stories. You can see these are all the stories I've actually experienced, so I can always go back to them and rewatch them. So you can you can skip the stories quite easily if you want to. Just be careful. There are some stories that will tell you um, there are some rewards for watching them, so do not skip those particular ones. Finally, while playing through the game, you will unlock something called factions. It's like camp right here. So there are two factions: the Heavenly Pinnacle, which is the blue faction, and I don't really remember the name of the red faction. It just doesn't really matter that much currently. Um, there is no implication. You can just choose any and move on. Do not bother about this. Now that we've talked about the main part of story and factions let's just quickly cover adventure if you look closely at my crater right here i'm gonna go through here and you will notice something will pop up you see this that paper crane right there it is actually an adventure so if you follow the paper tray and you've unlocked an adventure right here with this npc so you're just gonna talk with the npc make sure that you do not um, actually miss this kind of things these are hidden stories that will give you great reward in the open world speaking about the open world the open world is massive this is just one map you can actually 
the time it will take from you for you to actually ride your mount or glide or jump because at level 15 to 20 you will unlock this ability to be able to jump and fly the time it will take for you to go from one end of the map to the other is long even with all these abilities so prepared to use teleportation a lot unless you actually want to explore the open world because there are quite a lot of hidden quests like i just demonstrated in the open world that being said this is something you will experience and you would understand or come to understand by yourself so i'm not actually going to go too in deep into this one now we're going to talk about the things you need to do daily as a beginner in this game we'll just go about the basic things first of all it's a given that you have to complete your tail this is another word for dungeon in this game so of course you're going to complete your dungeon every day speaking of dungeons you have to make sure you do every single dungeon this is random dungeon that unlocks for you after you've reached a certain level do not worry about this if you are a beginner but make sure you do it once it unlocks so you have your ordinary dungeon you start at level 28 completing this dungeon do all of them and including the challenge dungeon which is a little more difficult do everything including the lower level dungeons this includes even if you are a uh, higher level or way stronger than the dungeon like you see this requires 3000 rating and i have 56000 rating right here so i still do this dungeon because of the statues i get these statues are very important for your homeland right here this is like your own private house you can go into your statue and upgrade them each of this statue i upgrade that i've gotten from dungeon gives me rating so this is very important especially if you are free to play every rating counts as getting a thousand rating in this game is very difficult <laughs> it really is difficult so make sure you do all your dungeons every day that aside one thing you will want to focus on in the beginning of the game aside from dungeon will be your partner and fondness these two go together so let's start with the partner these are allies that will help you in battle. The main thing you want to do at the beginning stages of this game is recruit. And when you just start, you probably won't have any legendary recruit. So what you want to actually do is make sure you summon till you get at least one legendary. I got this one for free from the game. And whenever you summon, you also obtain something that we can use in the Hall of Heroes, this shard. You see, I have 280 of it. So every time you summon, you get some of this shard you can use to exchange. I will advise that you exchange for the healer. This is the healer. You exchange for the legendary healer. She's very important and will help you go further in challenges right here. It will help you go further in this heaven estate. It is basically just like um, a PvE mode that you fight strong monsters that go keep going higher and obtaining rewards. So a legendary healer is going to be very helpful to help you survive in that state. Not just you but your own allies. Uh, because right now i survive but my allies die way too fast and I, I i can't help it much because the healer i have is a purple one not a legendary one so save your um, recruitment stuff for the legendary healer if you can now that we've talked about um, recruits and partners we're going to talk about fondness this is basically related to partners all the partners you receive and people you meet in the story mode so every day you can actually talk to one of these people they will tell you what they want you go to your gifts right here and make sure you do this for them every single day give them something that you feel they'll like or that is glowing give it to them if you feel like it isn't good or something like this um, or you do not have it you could always obtain more of the items like you see i don't have this right now you can obtain more of this from merchant lead so you can just purchase some of it from here and then give it to them it will actually increase um, their friendship with you faster which can then lead to you obtaining some special hidden quest and also some reward from here when your friendship with them increases so those are lots of ways you can obtain resources from just playing the game and doing these basic things daily there's something you want to do every day you want to go to trade right here tap on it and you want to make sure you purchase this every day every single day make sure you purchase every single thing here these two items they are going to be very helpful for you for um, refining your gears if you go to enhancement right here and you can use them to enhance your gears even if your gears are max even if everything is max make sure you keep purchasing those items because um, it costs a lot later in the game to upgrade a gear by even just one level so make sure you buy all of that every single day make sure you go to your trade and purchase these two talking about trading you want to go to i want to sell as well you should be able to sell some things here for gold if you really need gold that is this silver currency right here 
that being said this isn't the main part about trading what you actually want to take advantage of here is set up shop every day you want to set up shop and then you can sell some things at this i want to sell section that you have you can put them up for sale and obtain lots of rewards from them you can also set the price always set it a little higher than the actual recommended one and you can use this to obtain this particular currency that is very useful for you trust me you will understand what it is useful for while playing the game now that we've mentioned trading this ties to um two other things one is guild and the second is actually um carriers so first we're going to talk about guild you must join guild join a guild it's very important you join a guild and make sure you join an active guild because you do get lots of rewards from your other guild members actually being active you can get lots of envelope rewards for gold and so many other stuff from here that aside there are a lot of guild events you can do like the guild petition and the guild reverie there are a couple other events in guild but you will get to know them as you play the game now let's talk about carriers and go to carriers you see that there are one two three four five six seven carriers currently in the game so uh, first thing you want to know is out of all these carriers i currently believe that there are three carriers that are amazing for you and will help you strengthen yourself a little fast the first is the bounty hunter this is the one i will recommend you focus on and do as much as you can so i'm going to go back right now and explain why i want to focus on the single bounty you play by yourself what you actually obtain one particular reward that you get from bounty that i believe is very very important is your martial arts you get some books from there so if i go to mastery right here and you get these shards for books you get them from bounty a lot of them from bounty especially if you're very lucky and you can use this to unlock more passives also you get this exquisite mastery page which you can use in place of this main one to unlock these passives that will be very helpful for you and i also think they're proc in things like 1v1 pvp and stuff i am not 100 percent certain about this but it is still great to have nonetheless you can see i already have enough to obtain this particular one so i am actually going to unlock it right now and that's some rating i obtained there but that's not all and now i can actually activate it and replace probably one of these ones with it so i'm actually gonna see which one is weaker and which one i don't like and replace it so i'm actually gonna equip it right here and at the level 60 another slot will be unlocked which i can include any of those ones i want so i'm just gonna upgrade it and every time you upgrade them you get rating so this is why i believe bounty is one of the best carriers you can do in this game that aside another carrier that i think is awesome is constable this is kind of related to bounty as you can see bounty right here you get rewards as well and then you could also judge cases and this is just a fun one as it gives you various rewards you can use for refining your equipment and stuff so now that we've talked about that there's another thing you want to do every day every single day you want to make sure you go to your map right here go to this arrow icon over here unlock it if it isn't unlocked and then you want to go to meditate now this will actually lead you to the meditation ground where you will talk with an NPC and start your meditation. And once you start this, you start obtaining something called prestige. And prestige can be used, you see that I obtained it, prestige can be used in the market. You can go to the prestige shop over here and based on the prestige for whatever class you obtain that for, like today I'm obtaining for fairy because of the map I'm in. Um, you can get prestige and obtain some of these useful items so that is one way you can actually obtain prestige for the other classes without actually switching to those classes this is something i think you should do every day and it's not just meditation alone you should make sure you finish this meditation so i'm going to show you guys it real quick there we go we submit the item to this npc and mission accomplished so this we obtained so we obtained some nice silver and prestige icons now this is for the fairy which i think is the healer you don't really fight but for the swordsman prestige or meditation you do fight but the npc is not really strong it will just help you understand the swordsman class a little more that also goes to prove my point that the swordsman <laughs> is actually great for 1v1 pvp now still on the world map if you go here you see something below school quest uh, you have normal quests these are actually world quests under world quest so you want to tap on any of these and go do them every day make sure you do 
at least three world quests every day they will also give you prestige and you will also get some rewards aside from experience from this quest so make sure you do your world quest every day it's very important for you and it will help you in the long run now still on careers i think there's something i almost forgot to mention there's uh, actually a quest you can obtain or a career you can do i don't know the exact talk about it but it might be a ranger also you get the chance to um, actually rob some other players that are doing this particular career called escort master you get the chance to rob them or rob some npcs you have to be quite careful when doing this because um, you are actually a thief at that moment and you can be arrested by the npcs and if you are arrested you will be jailed for at least one hour and in jail you won't be able to do anything uh, a, a guild mate of mine was actually jailed so it was quite funny <laughs> just watching a character being unable to do anything for one hour so be careful with that especially if you are new at the game that could be a waste of your time now speaking about careers there's one more career in a way that you can do every day you can go to your bag and go to career right here you see these particular tian shield butterflies you can use them to discover rare treasures buried in different places in the game so every single day you should try using these if you do have them you don't necessarily need to use all of them but you can just auto to this particular location and explore and from that you should be able to discover some um, rare treasures if you actually are lucky i found a hidden cave let's do this so in the cave right here we just have a couple treasures i'm gonna go pick all of them and that is just free rewards silver i got an artifact that's a bunny i can probably sell it i got a silver and another artifact hopefully i get something worthwhile that actually make oh i got i got one of those mastery pages for skills so it, this was worth it <laughs> this was worth it so that is basically it for this particular treasure so do this every day if you can and you can get those butterflies from bounty and i'm not exactly sure what other um, careers you can obtain them from so now we're actually in the final part of the video which is um how and where to section so i'm going to show you guys how to do some things and where to do some things we're going to first start with fishing how do you fish and where do you fish? You can't just fish in all these normal stuff. There is probably no fish there, so it won't allow you. Especially if you're a beginner level fisherman, uh, you want to go to your map right here and then you want to go to career and just select any of this. It can lead you straight there to any of the places where you can fish. So once you've selected any of this, you go back to this particular world map and it will show you where fish can be found. So I would advise you go to Jiangyan and then Kuantan market oh my god i'm gonna bite my tongue in this <laughs> all right so yeah you can fish now what you want to do is you can tap on this fishing icon when you see it or in case it doesn't show you will actually tap on movement i'm gonna go back and show it again movement right here and go to function and fishing this will immediately start it and then you can automatically start your fishing just make sure you purchase some of these baits you can get them quite easily and that is one way to fish now it's the same thing with cooking you go to function and you ignite the fire and you can start cooking or warm yourself by the fire this is quite helpful for when you go to cold areas in the game it will keep you warm you see this i have obtained a buff body is warm so player will not be affected by the chilly snowstorm so this is quite helpful in places that are very cold so you don't get a debuff you can also cook as well and this can all be obtained from the merchant league you can purchase all of this from the merchant league all these recipes from the merchant league all you have to do is make sure you go to trade and go to food and you can purchase any of these once you have them you most probably unlocked their recipes by cooking them at least once so that is one way to unlock simple recipes for yourself another thing you should know about cooking is you should always go to the ingredient shop every day and see if you can purchase some of these items purchase all of them if you have the required currency for them make sure you purchase everything because they'll be quite useful for you later on in cooking how to get this currency is quite simple you go to fish sale and you can sell some of the fish you've caught you can quickly set, select them all and just sell every single thing you see i'm gonna get 200 from that and that's how you obtain that currency now we're going to talk about how to use career pills because this is something that is very helpful for you it's like your stamina so without this you won't be able to do your careers like um your bounty or even cooking so what you want to do is you want to go to your bag right here 
and then scroll down you will be able to find it right here this is your career vigor pill you can use this every day or you can actually purchase them with vouchers or from the chief star token shop how to get to there aside from using this shortcut is you go to market and this is the chief star token shop you can purchase some of it from here and maybe from the career shop you can get some of these baits and horse bandit flag as well if you want to use them for your um, you know escort missions and stuff as for fluoride you need to team up for this event you must have a full team of five to so make sure you join a team for this it is imperative and you go to your world map you will find some um, flowers in the world map so that is where the fluoride is if you do not find it in your current world map you go to this actual big world icon and you can tap on any of the other maps you should be able to see a flower there so you just tap on it go to it with your teammates and you can start the floret journey first is quite simple there are usually two or three types of floret challenges the first is to actually discover some hidden or not really hidden just some markers you can actually tap right up there above there that they are named the lee the kong and so on you can tap on them and you you automatically go to them so you can do this five times five particular times that you will receive reward from doing this you can keep doing it to help your friends um, but five times is when you will receive reward now we're finally going to talk about pvp is pvp balanced in this game so pvp isn't actually really balanced i'm just going to be honest <laughs> i will say that real quick it, it does try to balance things by you know mitigating stats and stuff i did practice this i'm not just spitting out here yeah I actually practiced this and in the pvp i faced someone who was 5000 ratings stronger than myself and i did all my damage with all the combos and everything and i think i was only able to remove about 20 percent of their health and they did the same thing to me and removed 80 percent at least of my health in one combo so yeah it is not balanced at all <laughs> that is one thing you should know but um yeah you can still defeat people who are a little stronger than you it's just there is a limit to it especially if they do not know how to play the game so anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions comments suggestions or requests please drop them right here in the comment section i read all of them i'll respond to you if needed or make a video if necessary thank you again so much for watching guys and i hope to see you all in the next one Take care guys.